Hello, friends. I'm back. I say I'm back like I've been gone. I've been uploading so much and I love it. So if you've been keeping up with my videos, you know that I haven't been in the best emotional state as of lately. I've been okay, but I haven't been like my full 100% self. So today I have a doctor's appointment and there's this restaurant that's close to my doctor's appointment that has like my go-to sad girl meal. Whenever I'm in a mood, whenever I'm mad, whenever I'm sad, whenever I'm feeling things, overthinking, whatever, I always go to this spot. It's like my comfort restaurant. I don't know why, I just go there. Doesn't even have the best food. It's good though. I'm in a mood, so I feel like I should go out and treat myself. I wanna get cute, take myself on a little date, and just enjoy my own company. And your company, because you're coming with me. So I guess we're going on a date. Get ready. I'm gonna go get ready too. I'm gonna go get cute for you, and we're gonna go have fettuccine Alfredo together. All right, all right, get ready. Don't take too long. We're gonna go to Earl's. Earl's is a restaurant, bar and grill, whatever you wanna call it. They have the fettuccine that I mentioned, really delicious. I suggest you look the menu up on your phone ahead of time. And, you know, I suggest their blackened Cajun chicken. Their warm potato salad's really good. Sticky toffee pudding as a dessert is good. I really like their chicken street tacos. And I really, really like their poke bowl. Take your time. I will drive, don't you worry but I'm gonna be playing music while I drive, so I'm sorry. I secured the bag. Okay, so I just recorded the unboxing of the pasta and it didn't, it didn't record. It came with two containers of sauce, two of these, and then dry noodles. I don't know why this is so strange. So I guess I have to like do it myself, which is really weird because this is takeout, so. Yeah, this looks good, it's just weird. I'm gonna use all the sauce. And then I guess I, I have a Alfredo sauce for the house, which is nice. I can make pasta tomorrow. So that's cool. Then they gave me cheese, which I did request on the side. So I'm gonna add some of the Parmesan oh, to the noodles. I'm sorry, I didn't get you any food. I know we're on a date together, but I think it's the first date and I think you're kind of responsible for your own meal. And if you didn't think ahead and you didn't order your own food, that's kind of on you, I'm sorry. But yeah, the food's really bright. I'm sorry I had to up the exposure, but let's do a taste test. Mmm. Just like I remembered. Although the whole like DIY thing is a little strange, I do kind of like that I can put as much sauce as I want. Mmm. Ooh, that's fresh parsley. All we're missing is a rum and coke. <laughs> but I am driving. Next time you drive and I drink. Okay. Anyways. How's your day going? Mine is, mine's okay, mine's slow. I've been working really hard. I don't know. I feel like I might be overworking myself, if I'm being honest. I've been putting out a lot of content, which I'm really proud of. I've been resting, but I feel like I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself to work really hard right now. I don't know why. So, that's a thing. Times are weird in Toronto right now, everything's locked down. 
everything everything it's so crazy because like in the stores they've actually blocked off aisles that are not considered essentials so for example you go to the dollar store and like you can buy cleaning supplies you can buy food but you can't buy um pencils and and pens and you can't buy like little knickknacks and ice cube trays and glasses you know what i mean like you can't buy things so it's very inconsistent because it's like okay how are you gonna tell the whole country to work from home and then be like oh sorry we can't get you to buy pens and yeah your kids are in school and working from home but they can't buy school supplies but in the same store you can buy doritos like make it make sense not only that but like you can't um shop small businesses that sell essential services like a lot of the ones that are small you can't shop there but you can still go to a bubble tea shop and buy bubble tea and they don't sell food they only sell bubble tea but they're considered essential so it, literally the government is so inconsistent over here hey guys go outside but we're gonna close trinity bellwoods park and high park two of the biggest parks in toronto we're just gonna close them down but like go outside oh i just got cheese on the seat too Ah, oh, fuck, I thought this would be all romantic, but it's actually quite the messy situation, isn't it? This is really good, though. But I'm telling you, with the rum and coke, the only thing about eating like, like this, like takeout, is you have to use plastic cutlery. Their black and Cajun chicken is so good. Let me show it to you. It's like slightly spicy. But like, do you want to try some? Usually I don't let people share food with me, but I'll let you try. I'll try. <laughs> Just kidding. Not with Miss Rona around town will I be sharing my food. But so you know, it does taste really good. Whenever I do a mukbang, sorry, whenever I'm on a date, I'm hyper aware of how I'm eating. Like, do you see? And like when I eat pasta, I like it to be spiraled around the fork perfectly. Like this. Oh, that to me is beauty. Mm. Honestly, this whole meal is beauty. Absolute beauty. So, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, the city's on lockdown and it fucking sucks. <sighs> but, yeah. I don't know how my summer's gonna be. I think it's gonna be really weird this year. Mm. I've gone through some pretty big life changes that are going to change my summer a lot. Um, and it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird. Not only that, like, it's gonna be hard to be out because, like I said, everything's locked down and it is locked down until May 20th and then they're gonna announce if they're gonna continue to lock it down. So, it's just gonna be a weird time. I get sad. Like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm getting sad and I go through waves of sadness of like, like, we're really still in this pandemic and it's really not going anywhere. And it's just so scary because like how fucking long is it gonna be nobody knows i think the uncertainty is one of the scariest things that like it could be another four years of this okay cool vaccine but the vaccine oh, sorry i don't want to depress you guys let me let me not i was gonna say the vaccine doesn't cover all the variants but anyways today i sat down and i wrote like a lot of life goals and it was really nice like i just sat with myself after meditating and i wrote down all the things i want to achieve this year big and small I added some things to my bucket list. I have this bucket list as part of the journal I'm using. And like in it, it gives you, I think, 100 lines to write. I think I've filled out like 10 lines so far. I just add to it as I go. I'm putting little things like quick paella. Sew a full dress for myself. And like other things like that. It's a 2022 bucket list. So like I want to be realistic in what I can do, right? We're in a pandemic. So I'm putting really small things and also bigger things. My bucket list last year was a little bigger. But I also made it in December of 2019. So like there was like non-pandemic things on there, like traveling. What's on your bucket list? Seriously though, can you guys comment? Oh, I got sauce on my face. Can you guys comment some things on your bucket list? So I can get some inspo and maybe add it to mine. I have to go to the doctor today. I did like a routine checkup to see my vitamin levels and all those things. I'm gonna go get the results and I'm also like starting a new medication. And I think I'll talk about that on my channel eventually. Oh, this is really good. 
Like this meal was definitely a good call. I just keep like missing, like dropping the noodles and then it keeps splashing around and like getting on my car. Guys, so I'm almost done Shit's Creek. Okay, so people were trying to get me into Shit's Creek for so long. I watched like an episode and a half and I was like, mm, like I don't really, I'm not really feeling this. Like it just felt like, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. And then like I finally decided to give it another try and I'm so happy I did. That show is so good. It's just so funny. And you feel so connected to the family and the characters that like, I don't know who else gets this, but I'll like miss them. Like if I'm not watching Shit's Creek for like two days, I'll be like, I miss Alexis and David. Like, I just want to watch Shit's Creek. And I just love to watch it alone. It's just such a good show. Like originally I watched it with my cousin, but then like I got sad. So I'm like, yo, I need a depression show. So I'm going to watch this because it's the perfect show. It's 21 minute episodes. You fire through them. It's funny. It's distracting. It's good. So I just realized that I really love watching it alone because like I feel like I hear more of the jokes and I, I don't know. I just it's just such a good show. Like if you guys are looking for a funny show to watch, Shit's Creek Superstore is good. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Oh my God. So embarrassing. <laughs> I don't really hiccup on first dates usually. I'd love to stay and chat, but I think I need a little bit of solo time with my food. So I am going to go. But I did have a really good date with you. I think we should go on a second one. And I think maybe you should probably eat something next time. Because I felt really awkward just like eating while you're staring at me. You know? So maybe you should get some food next time. But I did really enjoy our time together. And I would really love to see you again. I do recommend this meal though for the next time. If we come back. But I hope you enjoyed watching this. I enjoyed filming it. I hope it wasn't boring. It felt a little boring for some reason. Like, not that I was bored, but I feel like I wasn't talking about enough. I don't know. Who knows? But I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to write something that's on your bucket list for me. Don't forget. It is April 21st, and it's snowing. Get this. It's April 21st, and it's snowing. And it's Wednesday, okay? Zero degrees. On Friday, 18 degrees and sunny. 18 degrees Canadian. Not American. 18 degrees and sunny. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Friday's gonna be a beautiful day. And today it's snowing. Like Brenda had to clean her car. I didn't though, because I left later on in the day. It already melted, but Canada is a weird place. Okay. Thanks for going on a date with me. I had fun. Did you have fun? No, you're shy? Okay. All right. So I hope you had fun. I'm gonna finish my pasta and watch a tarot video. And see you next time. Bye.